and welcome back to my youtube channel so today's video is a pregnancy q a i asked you guys on instagram stories to send in your questions about my pregnancy journey if you guys had any questions if you guys were interested and i got quite a lot of questions so thank you so much for sending them in um, a lot of different questions about giving birth in turkey about baby names um, yeah, lots of different topics. So yeah, I'm excited for today's video. If you are also excited, please don't forget to give the huge thumbs up because you really help my channel with that. And of course, if you are new here on my channel, welcome. I'm a Dutch girl and I'm living in marvelous Turkey. And I make a lot of mommy to be videos at the moment, but also fashion, lifestyle and vlogs. So if you like that, make sure you subscribe. And now let's get started. Okay, so the first question is, how did you share the news with your family? So like I already mentioned, I am originally from the Netherlands my whole family lives there um, and I'm living in Turkey so I didn't really have a choice but to call them so after our first ultrasound uh, I called my mom father and sister with the news and I was really nervous like my heart was pounding and I'm not sure why because of course it's such a joy to tell them but I don't know why I was nervous and um, I had the ultrasound near me and I was like yeah how are you doing and I was like look I have a little surprise and I immediately started to cry with my mom my mom and I are both very emotional so yeah we both started to cry immediately and uh, then my father and sister were just really happy and smiling but my family already knew that we really wanted a baby but I don't know still they were quite surprised only my mom said I already had that feeling a week ago I called my mom and I had lots of acne and maybe that's why she had a feeling but she said to me the last time I talked to you I just had a feeling that you were pregnant and when I talked to her uh, the week before I didn't even know it and I think moms are right about a lot of things so that was quite funny so that's how I told my family and my husband's family is living here in Marmaris so uh, my husband just told his parents as well and they were also very very excited for us so yeah, that's how we told them. Then the next question is in Dutch, but I will translate it. Um, she asked me if I am scared to give birth in Turkey. So no, I am not scared. Um, yeah, maybe if you are from the Netherlands or from another Western country, you're thinking maybe like, oh gosh, how is the healthcare here in Turkey? Is everything the same like in the Netherlands? And there's definite, there are definitely some differences but i am very very happy with my doctor my doctor really listens to me um explains everything really well and my doctor speaks perfectly english which i love because i went to a different doctor before and that doctor only spoke turkish and was always talking to my husband which i didn't feel really comfortable with because obviously i am the one who's pregnant so i want to understand everything and i want to feel good with the doctor i have if that makes sense like you want someone who um, really understands you and that i can explain everything because i speak a little bit of turkish but of course this is very medical um so yeah i'm very happy with the doctor i have the hospital is honestly very professional and i guess in turkey there can be like a difference in hospitals and doctors uh, the same as in the Netherlands because I had some very bad experiences with doctors there so I guess it just really depends on the doctor and the hospital you go to but there's a very good hospital in Marmaris there are two really good hospitals in Marmaris so I guess you just have to look which doctor you feel most comfortable with and I guess then you are not really scared to give birth some things in Turkey are different than in the Netherlands in the Netherlands you do have a lot more options like you can give birth at home and you have a lot more choice in pain relief which you don't have in Turkey and in Turkey you can also choose for a c-section which in the Netherlands is not possible I believe only if there's like a medical reason for it so yeah there's definitely a few differences but i would say the healthcare here is very good um yeah honestly i'm very happy i think i talked way too long but um yeah i just wanted to explain this very good and then the next question is kind of related to this one in turkey you have the opportunity to choose for a c-section what are your thoughts so first of all yeah i think every woman should decide on how she wants to deliver her baby like if you feel 
most comfortable with a c-section then i would say go for it personally i wouldn't choose it unless it's uh, a medical reason so i would love to give birth naturally and i know people here in turkey who chose for a c-section so yeah, if you feel most comfortable with that then yeah you should go for it but personally i would love to do it all natural and i always have in my head if so many women can do it then i can do it as well <laughs> i hope oh and i wanted to mention as well that some doctors in turkey they really push for a c-section so again check by your doctor if he or she supports a natural birth again my doctor respects your choice and i think that's also very important that you find a doctor who does that because like i said some doctors um, they push a bit more for a c-section but obviously you never know what's going to happen if you have a emergency c-section i mean you don't know what's going to happen so i just try to be open for everything but if i have the choice i would love to give birth uh, naturally then i have two very uh, similar questions um, are you going to give uh, your baby a turkish name and are you thinking of turkish or dutch baby names so my husband and I are just looking through lots of lists. I don't think I want to give my child a um, typical Turkish name or a typical Dutch name because of course our child would be half Turkish, half Dutch. And I feel like a very traditional Turkish name like Mustafa or Aisha or something like that wouldn't really fit. Uh, same with a typical Dutch name like Jan or something like that. I think it wouldn't fit because my uh, baby will get my husband's surname which is Turkish. So I don't think right now that we will go for a really typical Turkish or typical Dutch name. But I want a name that is easy to pronounce in both countries. So we are looking through lots of lists and uh, maybe something that has a little bit of a Turkish sound to it because otherwise it will really clash with the surname. And I also like names that are a little bit more unique. So I wouldn't like a name um, that you hear a lot, that's very common. I wouldn't choose a name that is like in the top 10 of a country, because I don't know, I just like it to be a little bit more unique. And I also said to my husband that I would love um, for the baby to have a different name. So when I look it up on Facebook, with the first, uh, with the first name and the surname, that our baby will be the only person with that name, <laughs> if that makes sense. So yeah, I do like something a little bit different and I don't think we will go for a really common name. And then the next question is, do you have any name ideas? So yes, we definitely have some ideas, um, but we haven't found the name yet. So I definitely have a little list and I'm going through lots of lists every day to find like the perfect name that feels right for us. But you guys have to wait till uh, the baby is born because I'm not gonna share the name um, before the baby is born. I don't know, that feels kind of weird. So I guess when the baby is born, I will also tell you guys the name. So yeah, we have still a few months to decide. Then the next question is, have you had any morning sickness? So yes, I definitely had morning sickness, but it was more like all day sickness and especially in the evening. Um, I haven't been physically sick a lot, like I only threw up once, which I'm very, very lucky about, but I was definitely really nauseous, especially by certain foods. Like I always love crisps and I didn't want to eat crisps at all. They made me feel really sick. Same with like fish, meat, everything that was fried. I just, oh, it made me feel so, so sick. And with like 10, 12 weeks, it slowly got better. So I can now eat everything again. And yeah, some things still make me a little bit like nauseous, but um, yeah, it definitely got better, which I'm so thankful for because um, it's just the worst feeling. But um, yes, I definitely had morning sickness, but I guess not as bad as some women. Then the next question is, since you share your pregnancy journey, are you going to share your baby too? So yeah, I have put a lot of thought in this and I don't think I will share um, my baby's face. So I will share my journey, like my pregnancy journey and my journey of becoming a mom and everything. But I think I will be very protective 
and I wouldn't want my baby to say to me later like oh my god why did you share um, these things about me so I think I will share like photos and sometimes film but then maybe only from the back side or like cute clothes without the baby's face in it I think I will do it like that um, it's a very controversial topic I feel because some people are very anti family vloggers and some people are like yeah what's the harm in it and I'm like I follow some girls that also share their children uh, sometimes in videos and I think there's no harm in you know for example like visiting Santa and sometimes showing your child but I think there's definitely things that you have to be careful about like showing your children's bath time and um, like in bikini and all of that yeah it's crazy that you have to even talk and think about this because it makes me feel sick and it makes me feel really awful that you even have to think about that but unfortunately you have to think about it so no i think i won't share my child's face but i will definitely share like uh, my journey as a mom and sometimes like cute clothes and all of that but I th guess I have to find my way in that because I'm saying this now but maybe later I can change my mind and will share even less I I'm really not sure but that's how I feel about it then the last question is how many years trying? so how many years I think we tried uh, to conceive so we tried for a little over a year about a year because not every month you know you're like focused on it but I would say it's not really fast also not too long but like I already mentioned in my first video I said to my husband well if this month it doesn't work out I just want to go for a checkup because I did have some issues with my hormones I went to the doctors before because my periods were uh, very irregular so I was like maybe there's something wrong but to be honest I was also quite relaxed the whole year I was like if it happens it happens and I just try to let it go the first few months I was really focused on it and I was also testing every month and after three months or something like that I was like no I'm not gonna do that anymore because I put pressure on myself and it's just always a disappointment when the uh, pregnancy test is negative so I was like no I'm not gonna test anymore and I just let it go so then the month I felt pregnant I wasn't really expecting it but also I had some symptoms that I was like yeah maybe I am pregnant and I was so I'm just so thankful for it otherwise yeah maybe I went to the hospital for checkups and everything and I was like maybe you know we need some help with it but yes thank god I felt naturally pregnant and I'm just so so thankful that um, yeah we're expecting now our first little baby and um, yeah I couldn't be more excited so this was the q and A. I hope I don't talk too much um, but yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give the huge thumbs up. And if you like to follow my journey, please feel free, please feel free to subscribe. And I hope to see you guys very soon in one of my other videos. Bye!